I got into riding when I saw a BMX track off the side of the freeway. My mom and I used to drive by it all the time. I started racing and you know, pretty soon I was winning titles. I won four national titles and it was just like kind of living the dream. There's not one thing that could get in my way of uh, riding my bike. You know, I always dreamed of being in X Games or, you know, I won 10 British Championships, 9 national titles. I won the X Games, I won the Garvey Games twice. It's basically all I wanted to do was uh, ride, train in the morning and went riding and trained again and then did my homework and kind of considered one of the top amateur riders at that point. I was uh, following my dreams, racing motorcycles. It's what I love to do. All I wanted to do is ride my bike. Every day I'd get up and I just wanted to ride my bike. And I did that up until the day I got hurt. The morning of, of that race, I got into the semis and from the minute that gate opened, I just couldn't get out of my own way. And I started to come down to the middle section and um, I hit the ground and I knew something really bad was wrong. And they were asking me to move my leg or if I could move my toes. And I thought I was moving my toes. But by the look in their eyes, I could see the paramedics I knew and I wasn't. And I just wanted to know that I was going to ride my bike again. I could write a never ending book on it. Seriously. If I could grab that pen and start writing, I would start writing right now. Nobody can understand being paralyzed until you're paralyzed. I think probably the biggest thing I've had to overcome is understanding the injury to a point where I realized that my life wasn't over and that that wasn't it. You know what, just when you think there's nothing left, just when anyone in the world thinks there's nothing left, just reach inside and dig deeper because there's always something to in that uh, you can reach and pull it out and walk with it, you know. The idea for the Iron Man was, it was like a light bulb had gone off in my head and I felt like I needed to do it. I knew that if I could do it, I felt like it would be proving something, not only to me, but proving something to everyone else in a chair and showing them that they can still do anything that they want to do. That those athletes that were athletes before the injury are still athletes and they're damn good ones. You know, spinal cord injury needs a face and if I can be that, then that's what I'll be. Because we need to raise money and we need to raise awareness. We have to because I want to walk again. It's like, I have to finish that race. I have to do it, I have to finish it, I have to win. My name is Steve Murray. Aaron Baker. Brooke Buchanel. David Bailey. Ricky James. My name is Terry Giannis, and this is my story.